right guys welcome back to the show for those of you who are new my name is Paul and today we are going to be setting 60 foot wide 412 trusses and we're going to be doing it with the JCB Teleskid and our boom from Skid Pro um, I've never set trusses with this setup this big so let's go ahead and get started and see how we do all right guys so if you're watching here you're seeing me cut these overhangs off the trusses and you're probably wondering what I'm doing the trusses came with 18 inch overhangs built in uh, we're doing 24 inch overhangs so I'm just cutting them off and then I'm, I'm adding overhang jacks to acquire the um, overhang that we desire. We have uh, three trusses up and we have eight to go. So let me show you guys what I'm doing to prepare these. These are 60 foot wide trusses. So I'm taking 20 foot two by fours and screwing them on edge. So I got 40 feet of two by four on edge screwed in to stiffen these trusses. And then I'm screwing a board in across the top to just spread my uh, um, endless loops on so we can lift this evenly and this is really stiffening these up nice and they're going up pretty good so hopefully we can have a big day today and get uh, hoping to get six more trusses up today
the second to last truss so we're taking some two by fours and just tying the top cord to the previous uh, trusses just so we can build our end wall and get our last truss up and then we'll take our last set of purlins but you can see we put a two by four across here and uh, are using straps I just felt like straps are a little I like straps now that I have a lift because there's no chance of them coming unhooked or the skid steer settling and them coming undone because we've had that uh, almost happen before. Um, but without a lift, this is kind of hard to do, but much safer doing it that way. And then if you look down at the bottom cord, we tied a 20 foot two by four on each side to stiffen that bottom cord. So when we lift it, it didn't, the truss didn't want to like bow. So now we're just gonna finish up putting these uh, um, braces on. So I know my spacing between trusses so I'm measuring before I screw this in, just so when we put our purlins on, we can leave this attached. And if we have to, as we work up to this, we can unscrew it to loosen if we need to move it a little bit either way. Three and three quarter up from the bottom. And a quarter so an eighth on that one a quarter on this one all right so as we're putting this other end wall up I'm measuring across to the column uh, parallel with this one just to make sure that I can this buildings 80 foot long so I want to know how much I need to set this out I do have this line but when we poured this there's some water in the hole so we didn't get a really clean line like I like so I just want to make sure and you can do that by pulling the tape off the opposite column over to here to see. So I know I have to stick this, this column an eighth inch past this bracket um, to be perfectly at 80 feet, which this is super awesome. It's lining up nice. Yep. <laughs> as we're putting this together we built this on the wall to line up right with this so all we have to do I'm sure if I put a uh, my level up there which why do we call it a level everybody gets upset when I call something vertical level but we use a level should I start calling it a plumber that is my question to you guys when I'm plumbing 
Should I call my level a plumber? Or should I still call it a level? Just a thought I had. But all we gotta do is pull this so it's flush, temporarily screw it in. And we're good to go. I mean, that's a valid question, isn't it? I mean, that's a great marketing thing. Create another level, but don't call it a level, call it a plumber. Yeah. And so it's- You it's, have to use a plumber. You have to use a plumber to plumb, not a level. So it's something else they could sell. Stabila should hire me for their marketing. Stabila Plumber 3.0. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, as you can see, we got those trusses up there. I will tell you that I think 60 foot wide, 14 foot sidewalls is probably the max that I wanna um, put up with this setup. I could extend my boom a little bit further, but that's a lot of weight when you get it out there. And so if you were watching, I was getting that boom as straight up as I could. That way, most of the weight was coming straight down, but it worked awesome. We got these set. So the next step is to go ahead and put all of our fascia boards on, get the whole roof squared up, and get uh, the roof on. So we're gonna do that as soon as this weather will allow us to. But as always, thanks for watching. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next video.